Hey guys, it's been a while and I'm finally back making a new video about what I've basically been up to, um, where I am, what I'm studying, and my experience there so far. I basically am going to Central St. Martins now and studying fine art. I wanted to make a series on my experience there every term um, for the first year. And the reason I'm doing that is because I feel like I would have wanted to know what kind of projects you're given at Central St. Martins studying fine art. There's literally no videos on YouTube, again, about this kind of stuff. And I'm just like, why? Like, why isn't there anything that we can watch to know? What we're getting into and I just decided to be that person for you guys because why not so I just made a list of questions that I could talk about which cover my experience at Central St. Martins so the first question I have down here is which pathway group are you in and what do the pathway groups mean for those of you that aren't familiar there's four different pathway groups that you would go into in within fine art um, there's 2d 3d 4d and xd I was kind of uh, unsure about this when I was applying just because what well, you can't expect me to just stick to 2d for three years or like 3d or 4d and I'm an artist you know I like to explore different mediums different things but to be honest it's very fluid no one's gonna question you if you make a painting when you're in 3d or you know a video when you're in 3d so it's it's all really very very free it's just like sort of a space that you're given that fits the majority of your work that you create and um, if it changes you can change like the group the pathway if it's really that big of a concern for you if not you just stay in that pathway and you do what you are interested in doing it's really not that big of a deal um, so 2d basically is like to my knowledge painting photography uh, you question the surface they create art on and just things like that. 3D is more of sculpture and explores matter, scale, production, material, and immaterial forms. Um, I'm reading some of the things that it says on the website anyway, so you guys can go and check that out. 4D is basically um, time-based, so video, uh, performative things, interdisciplinary practices, installations, projections, that kind of stuff. And then XD is more technological, digital art, uh, sound art, sort of um, yeah, very, very technical, not technical, technological, um, it's 40s going into look like a more technological direction than the other pathways, I would say. So I've been placed in 40 since having my interview at Central St. Martins and I would say I'm really happy about that because I feel like the work I do now or since having graduated Art Foundation, um, is very well suited to 40 sort of expectations so I mainly do video installation photography writing all these kinds of things and um, my work has changed drastically since my portfolio video that I've uploaded and I used my art foundation portfolio to apply to Central St. Martins the next question I have here is how often are you allowed to go into studios it's basically up to you if you are more of a painter or a sculptor you go into the studios and use the space because, you know, this accommodation is so small, where are you going to do that? But if you're more of a video artist and sound artist and you don't need a studio space and, and the walls, then obviously you can stay at home and you don't ever really have to go into the studio unless you have like a tutorial or like a group meeting. I would strongly advise though for everyone to go into the studio from time to time and it's just really good in terms of like social aspects. You get to know people, you get to ask for their opinions. You get inspired as well as be inspired. So another question I have is what are the tutors like? A lot of the tutors are artists themselves. So when you have conversations with them, it's like an artist to an artist rather than a teacher to a student, which is nice because there's no sense of hierarchy and um, it's just a more balanced conversation overall. But I will say that not all artists can teach. Just because you're an artist doesn't mean you can teach art, you know? So. But overall, it's not been bad. I've understood everything that I've been told. I've had productive conversations with all my tutors, professors, etc. And it's been great so far. I don't really have any complaints about the people that are leading the course. So the next question I have is, what topics have you covered so far? So the actual content of the course, um, you can find it on the website, but it's very not what it says it is. 
basically it says that uh, you have a couple of units um, and the units are titled like what slash where is an art school, what is a studio and so forth and I thought that for some reason I thought those were the, like the concepts that we'd be exploring and I was a little like concerned about that but I still thought that no 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 like that can't happen like obviously we're going to be given a chance to like focus on what we want to explore. So at the end, I guess I was right. Those are just things that we think about while we work on our projects. So if you're making a piece on like human anatomy, you just, while you're making whatever you're making, you think about, so what is a studio? It sounds dumb, I know, but hear me out. Um, it's basically like when you have those group tutorials at the very end and you guys give feedback on each other's work, the tutor will then ask, so, while making this, have you thought about how a studio impacts your work or what you consider as a studio? And you'd be like, yeah, so a studio can be any place, you know, any place that you think creatively, any place you create art in, and it can be, you know, a space in your mind, an internal space. Whenever I think of what I'm going to make, that's an internal space that you're providing for yourself to explore creatively, you know, that's like a studio in your mind. And it's just like discussions like these that you guys have about these sort of questions that are the unit titles. Um, so yeah, it's not it's not terrible. It's actually kind of interesting to, to think about and to consider. So for the actual projects themselves, um, we had one under what and where is an art school. And we had to basically, we were put in a group and it was titled Project Zero, this, this first project that we had. And we weren't really told much, we were just given text and we were given studio times to come in and meet our group and start making basically and the text included this so I'll pull up like a quote that we got in this text that would like inspire us to make something and it said uh, in what way do we engage the process of beginning in the making of art? Is it an idea that we have that is then realized and executed? So it kind of made us question what is a starting point where is a starting point? Is it when you start making it, like making your art piece? Is it when you start thinking about what you're gonna make? Is it before all of that, when you're born? Because you're born to eventually make that artwork. So something like this to begin um, the course was very confusing and a lot of people had very negative feedback towards it. A lot of people had difficulties in their groups to come up with um, whatever they were gonna do to come up with what they were gonna do and the majority just talked and got to know each other some made some actual work and my group we were actually quite productive and we were one of the ones that made stuff and um, we just focused on like the number zero and what that means you know it's the concept of nothing it's a whole but it can also be viewed as a circle so it's like a loop it's infinite and um, just drew ideas upon ideas about this zero and made some quite conceptual work about that. And another part of the project was to take 10 images of two encounters that we had, whether that's a location, an artwork, an experience, and um, we had to write about one of those encounters and compare it to another one. So this section was more of like an individual project whereas the other part of the project was like a group collaboration thing that we had to do. Um, so it was just 10 images and a write-up and we had to submit that for our first project of the term. For unit two, which is what is a studio, we had two main projects. One of them was a one minute video that we had to produce. We were not told what the video would be about. Um, that was just all up to us. Also quite abstract, open, um, scary, I'd say even. And so some people made the one minute video on the actual minutes, the, the, sorry, the actual seconds, the 60 seconds, or people also explored their personal interests. And I chose to explore the concept of the uncanny. I read a book and then I took some notes, made a mind map, then created something out of that. And the second part of this project was to make a multi-screen video and to question concepts like the expanded cinema. So the multi-screen video was basically would consist of three different videos that we would then place together into one large video and um, so ideally the three videos would be playing at the same time or not 
and it would just play as one big video. So it's like three screens in one big screen or like maybe those three screens filmed other screens. So you know, you can take it as far as you want. But I chose to explore the concept of consciousness because oh, I am so interested in like consciousness and the sense of self and the non-self and like what that all is and objective reality and how we just know the reality that we know and it's not the actual reality. Um, but that's a conversation for another time. So I just made like three videos on like what I think consciousness looks like, what it feels like, what it sounds like, and um, and yeah, that's that's sort of what I did. So that's basically the end of the video. I hope I answered some questions that you guys might have had in terms of what fine art is like in Central Saint Martin's. Yes, it is quite abstract, quite conceptual, quite. Um, not at all like A-levels, let me tell you that. I would say you'd have a much easier time adjusting to fine art at UAL after completing a foundation in art. And if not, then good luck to you. Uh, no, I'm joking. Honestly, it's just very open-minded and you just need to keep an open mind. And it's more of, um, it's less of studying art and more of studying concepts that you're interested in through art, I would say. But it can also be art, if that's the concept that you're interested in, you know? Um, if you guys have any questions, please just leave them in the comments below, and I will try and answer them in my next video that I create for this series. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in my next video.